evening and welcome to this edition of News Leader on 6. Today is Tuesday, May the 2nd, 2017. I'm Jim Fuller. And I'm Andrew Todd. In tonight's news, we'll tell you about Governor Haslam's new budget. Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival has announced its Planet Rude nonprofit partners. And we'll tell you what to do if you should find a baby bird that's fallen out of its nest. We'll have all these stories and more on tonight's News Leader on 6. Tax time is here and it's the perfect time to buy a vehicle, but you're not sure where to go because of poor credit help? Come see me, Dr. Credit, and the rest of the team here at Russell Barnett Kia. But don't take it from me, here's a few of our satisfied customers and what they had to say. He did everything and anything he could possibly do to help me. Dr. Credit was very helpful in getting me um, a vehicle that I could afford. Everything he explained to us was amazing. I would recommend them to anybody and everybody. Dr. Credit helped very, very much. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Credit at Russell Barnett Kia so you can drive away happy. Cool off this summer at Tellahoma Splash Island. Fun for all ages. Three 25-foot slides, lazy river, fun water features for toddlers, tasty food items are available. All this and more, only $5 from 10 a.m. to 3 p.m. or 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. Sundays, 1 to 5. Join the fun at Tellahoma Splash Island. Welcome back. Last week, Governor Bill Haslam introduced his amendment to the fiscal year 2017-2018 budget proposal that will be considered by the 110th General Assembly in the coming days. The appropriations amendment tracks closely to the governor's original budget proposal presented to the legislature on January 30th, which for the second year in a row does not take on any new debt and makes significant investment in teachers, K-12 through schools, higher education, state employees, the state's rainy day fund, and the tax cuts included in the IMPROVE Act. The amendment builds on previous legislative priorities by making strategic investments across state government. Tennessee currently ranks as the lowest taxed and lowest debt state in the nation. Notable investments in the 2017-2018 budget amendment include $8 million to increase salary pay to Department of Intellectual and Developmental Disability Service Providers, $2 million for prevention, education, treatment, and recovery services with the Department of Mental Health and Substance Abuse Services, $55 million for transportation projects as the Improved Act is phased in, $40 million for a new state library and archives building to collect and preserve Tennessee records of historical documentary and reference value, and $10.65 million for disaster relief in Gatlinburg and Sevier County after the devastating wildfires in November of 2016. The Appropriations Amendment is customarily introduced in the final weeks of the legislative session each year for consideration and approval by the General Assembly. The final 2017-2018 budget is expected to be adopted sometime in May. Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival has announced its Planet Roo nonprofit partners. One dollar from every ticket sold to the 2017 festival will be dedicated to the ongoing sustainability efforts on site and beyond. Festival organizers said Bonnaroo's long commitment to sustainability, environmental activism, and global consciousness is due to the monumental efforts of countless Bonnaroo patrons and the tireless work of the festival's nonprofit partners. Bonnaroo is the only large-scale festival on the planet with its own permanent solar array and compost processing facility on site. Bonnaroo has been diligent in its pursuit of true sustainability since its premier 2002 event. Several million dollars have been generated from past events benefiting such diverse organizations as Head Count, Music Cares, Rock the Earth, First Book, Music for Relief, Notes for Notes, and much needed local support to Middle Tennessee communities, in particular Manchester and Coffee County. In an effort to inspire people to help others, Bonnaroo's Planet Rue will have groups from the social advocacy world on site, from showing up for racial justice, the Southern Poverty Law Center, to the Innocence Project. The Innocence Project works to exonerate wrongly convicted through DNA testing and reforms the criminal justice system to prevent future injustice. They will have some clients on site to discuss their experiences with the judicial system and answer patron questions. Planet Roo will once again be anchored by the farm's only fully solar-powered solar, solar stage, set to see a number of surprise innovations at the 2017 event. 
Highlights this year will include morning yoga classes, conscience-raising interviews with chefs, beer brewers, and activists. The 2017 Bonnaroo Music and Arts Festival will be held June 8th through June 11th. Locals can purchase discount tickets at Fantasy Radio in Manchester. We'll be right back in a moment with more news later on 6. Keith Barnett here with the Russell Barnett Automotive family. Over 75% of car shoppers today use the internet to search for their new or pre-owned vehicle. That's why the RussellBarnett.com website is so versatile where you can check it anytime, all the time, online. You can search through our new and pre-owned inventory by make, model, mileage, or price. We can value your trade-in and get you pre-approved for financing before you even walk in the door. So check out RussellBarnett.com and remember, why buy anywhere else? All I have to do to think about what I was physically before and what I am now and I don't ever want to go back to that original situation. The overall mission of the rehab team is always what is best for the patient and how we can facilitate maximum potential from every resident. Well, the most important thing to me is that I'm allowed to do whatever I need, want to do, you know. Everyday Miracles at Life Care Center of Tullahoma. Welcome back. The Play Cheating opens this Thursday at the Fly Arts Center in Shelbyville. Peggy Burton spoke with one of the actors. Shevable has a lot on their plate this week. I've got Morgan Underwood. Hi, Morgan. Hi, how are you it's doing? It's so good to see good you. Good to see you, Peggy. I'm glad you, you decided to come over. Well, and, thank you very and much. It sounds like that you've got a show going on that's going to be a big hysterical hit. We do. We're very excited. It's called Cheating. It's by Dell Shores. It's, um, it's a show that's PG-13, uh, so we don't want little ones to come. It's a, it's a little racy, but yeah. it's it's a good show, and we're very excited to, to put it on. Is it a big cast? It's, um, it's about uh, uh, six people in the cast. Uh, it's me, my wife, uh, Daniel Sharon, Sean Sharon, Eric Collins, um, Marie Trotter and uh, Thatcher Cleveland. We have a couple people that have never done shows before in it. Oh, so, that's always so that's, good. Yeah, it's great to bring. That's a plus. Yes, great so, to bring new people in. When does it open? It opens uh, May 5th. It runs May 5th and 6th. Uh, that weekend and the next weekend we'll, ha we'll do a Friday, Saturday and a Sunday matinee. So you can think about the first two weekends in May. And you, yes, you can come back if you want to and talk about it again. Absolutely. Y'all yes. working hard, practicing long hours? We are. We're, uh, we're about to head into the crunch time yeah. uh, and, and start working every day. So. Who's your director? Uh, Sue Thielen's directing it. She's, been, uh, she's also the president down there at the Flower Arts Center. So uh, she's got a lot on her plate. Oh, we didn't mention where it is. It, it, we assume everybody knows. It's the Fly Arts Center yes. in Shebbeville, just off the square. Right behind the movie theater. Right behind the movie theater, it so is. you can't. I'm glad y'all kept that movie theater. Uh, well, I, I am mean, too. They, I'm glad they kept it. it I wish we nice. had ours here. It is. Uh, I, the title of this sounds a bit racy. It is. Is everybody cheating in the show? I am especially. <laughs> You're the uh, big cheater. <laughs> I am one of the big cheaters uh, that kicks off other people cheating because I'm cheating. So yeah. I get. I basis of the show is in Texas, so they're great Southern folk, and I get caught cheating. Uh, on my on my fiance or my girlfriend, and that kicks off events where kicks off events that where everybody starts relates. cheating. Yes, <laughs> yeah. yes. It sounds like fun. It is. It's very fun. There's a little bit of music in it. Um, there's a whole lot of, of funny. Okay, scenarios. so some people actually sing. We have, you uh, don't really call it a musical. It is but not a musical. It's got some singing music in it. It has a couple of a couple of our. There's a narrator in it, and uh, he does some singing with the guitar no, to, to narrate the show. So it is. It's great. And you want to tell us what the tickets are and how to uh, get the tickets and all that? Yes, uh, you can call uh, the Flower Arts Center at 684-8359. Write um, that down. Write that down. Um, I guess you have a web, uh, we you do. have a, where we they do. can get tickets online. It's a flyartscenter.com uh, and there is, uh, we're, we're trying a new ticket system. We're hoping it'll be up by then. If not, they can just call the number and get sure. tickets. Um, and we're hoping to have a great turnout. We're, we're now, trying to build the theater back up. Is this in the little theater that's in the fly? It is. How many of y'all seat there? We seat about 130. So we should. Well, that's a pretty good size. It is. Yeah. It is. It's a very intimate theater. That's what I love about it is that no seat is bad. No, no Any seat, seat is bad. Any seat you sit in is going to be a good seat. It is. It's it's a it's different than Telehome in Manchester. It's not a, a proscenium type stage. It's more of an in around where the, the stage is lower and the audience is above so, it. So, so are y'all required to use a sound system when you? We don't. We're not mic'd, so um, we do I, we do honestly, have sound. I kind of like that because it's it's the original way theater was, it is. and uh, you're just there part of. 
it, you got to have that, that theater voice. You got to know how to throw your voice. And, and tickets are how much? Uh, tickets are ten, uh, twelve dollars for center sections and ten dollars for side. That's great. Yeah, it's cheap. I mean, that's out. a. How often do you all have to practice to, uh, to pull this off? Right now, we, we usually do a six-week uh, rehearsal schedule. And right now, we're, we're doing uh, three nights a week. We're doing Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday nights. And uh, with uh, one night just for, for French cut scenes, yeah. which we do out. But and, so, and do you ever overlap, like while you're working on this show, do you have another one We do sometimes, coming up? especially the actors who, who, you know, like I do, travel around to different uh, theaters will overlap shows, but yeah. there at the fly, we we try not to. We not try to, to spread them out. Yeah. Next year, we're we're hoping to do more than four shows. Oh, so we're we're trying to grow. We're trying to get you know a bigger intake of actors and audience. Let's go back to cheating for just a minute. Yes, Remember that it is. You'll have to give the dates. Oh, it's uh, May fifth and sixth. May fifth and sixth, and then the following weekend, the twelfth, thirteenth, and fourteenth. And tickets are right there on the screen. You can write yep. that down, or you can go online and find yourself a ticket. We have told it. Go get your tickets or call for your tickets t to Cheaty in Chevable at the Art Center. And Morgan, we'll look forward to having you back. Yes, ma'am. Thank, Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll be right back after these messages. It's not Invoice. It's not MSRP. It's not Christmas Day. Although it may feel like it, it's the lowest prices in Middle Tennessee, period. Get to Stan McNabb Chrysler Dodge Jeep Ram or Stan McNabb Chevrolet Buick GMC Cadillac before these prices are gone forever. When your family suffers the loss of a loved one, the caring and compassionate staff at Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel are standing by to assist you in every way possible. We are proud to support local industry and offer only Batesville caskets. Many funeral homes don't own or operate a crematory. We utilize the only crematory in Coffee County. Your loved one never leaves Coffee County. We can accommodate any need and any budget. Consider our complete pre-need service to remove this burden from your family during their time of grief. Lock in today's low costs and protect from inflation. Tullahoma Funeral Home and Coffee County Funeral Chapel. Our family caring for your family. Welcome back. Tom Corrington spoke recently with Lou Ann Parkington about her unusual occupation. Our guest today, folks, is uh, Miss Lou Ann Parkington, who is the, uh, the head of the uh, Ziggy's Tree Wildlife uh, Sanctuary or Rehabilitation Center in uh, northern Franklin County. And uh, they have a very interesting operation that we know uh, so little about. So we hope to be able to educate you some uh, today. Uh, so, Luann, let's let's sort of start at the beginning. What is the uh, what's the purpose of your organization? Uh, well, our main focus is to take in orphaned and injured wildlife, native wildlife, to Tennessee, and try to get them back on the road to health and back out there into their natural habitats. Um, probably ninety percent of what we take in are babies. Um, Angela Hensley, who's the founder and our mammal specialist up in Las Casas, specializes in small mammals. She's a squirrel. She, right now she's got about 100 squir baby squirrels, probably 30 or 40 little opossums, and they've got about 20 little eastern cottontails, and one baby groundhog that's about this big. Little tiny baby. No polecats. No. Uh, <laughs> the state of Tennessee does not allow us to rehab skunks or bats because of the potential for rabies. So, you know, it's like, un unfortunately, we, when people call us with, uh, with one of those species, we can't give them any good news, but just about anything else that we can help them out with. I specialize in songbirds, native species songbirds, get a lot of robins every year, Carolina wrens, uh, mockingbirds, our state bird, and I'm also the, on we're the only facility that actually specializes in songbirds. So I get all the chimney swifts that come in from border to border in Middle Tennessee because they are a bit labor intensive. Yeah. Little, little, they never eat on their own. What, what, uh, what size organization do you have in Franklin County? Is that, is that, you free to talk about that? Uh, you got one acre, ten acres? Or? Um, I actually uh, live on a half acre. I've got three flight cages in my backyard, three 16-foot flight cages where the birds can build up their muscles. 
And then my actual rehab area is set up in my two-car garage. I laugh with everybody because I had to build a carport for the car because the birds got the garage. So your the operation got, is on what? One, it's about a half an acre. Half an but acre. But it's like my property opens up to about um, 21 acres that's all woods. So I built the aviary so they're little release. I've got a release door in the back of each aviary. And for the birds that I can release right there, you know, on my property, I just open the door and they can come and go until they decide that they want to live back out there in the woods. they're free to, free to flew the coop, huh? Uh, so to speak. About half the birds I get in never needed to be rescued in the first place. Uh, we've got a lot of, you know, I usually walk people through, they, th you know, they, they see the parent birds coming very frequently to the nest and then all of a sudden they don't. And what happens like with the baby bluebirds, they leave the nest at about 17 to 21 days, but I've had people call and say, my the parents were feeding the babies very regularly and now they're just sitting over on the fence and the babies are poking their heads out of the bluebird box and just begging for food. I said, yeah, they're trying to get them to leave the house. If it only worked that well with teenagers. We release about, probably about 75% of the birds, baby birds I take in, I'm able to successfully raise and then release back out there. And, you know, I do a good job, but the real mom does, you know, real mom and dad do a better job of, of raising their babies. So we try to leave them out there if we can. Um, yeah, the robins are the big offenders. They nest close to people, but their nest is so small that the babies don't all fit in as they get bigger. So once they have their feathers, the baby robins will hop out and they'll be on the ground for like almost a week sometimes, not able to fly very good. but. Mom and Daddy are following them around and still feeding them and keeping an eye on them. But people see these birds hopping around think they need help. And oh. they don't necessarily. It's at that point, well, I always encourage people to keep their cats indoors all the time because cats are not natural predators for birds. But you know, if, if you can't do that, at least be aware of when the baby birds are, you know, if you've got baby birds in your yard, if they're out and hopping around, keep the cats and dogs in. And, and give mom and daddy a chance because mom and daddy bird will you know lead the babies to safer spots in the bushes and try to keep them away from predators. And uh, your organization is it uh, is it uh, public private some of both or uh, uh, neither some of uh, some both uh, we are funded by private donations and we do we have been successful in securing the a community foundation of Middle Tennessee grant for I think it's been about six years now they've been funding us. We also participate in their um, big payback, their one day online giving that's gonna happen May 3rd this year. But it's midnight to midnight and you can go online and donate and select Ziggy's Tree as your charity or I, I think a lot of the Tullahoma charities are participating in that. You can go in and just you know give, it's, it's a $10 minimum donation but go in, select your charities, make all your donations at once. And that that helps us, at, you know. Every year we usually get at least six or seven hundred from that. Uh, our main source of income, though, actually is individual supporters, people that will bring in an animal to us. And you know, it's like most people are very generous and will donate. You know, if they bring you an animal, it's like they, they'll uh, they'll go ahead and donate. Hopefully, and, give you some money to help take care of it. Huh? Yep. Okay. And, I, and, and when I can, I try to involve the, the rescuers in the release as well. We like to, with the adult birds, absolutely we have to get them back where they came from because that's their territory. But even with the babies, we try to get them back to that same area. More news later on 6 is coming up in a moment. Stop your credit here from Russell Barnett Kia. Are you needing a vehicle but don't think it's possible because of your current credit situation? Great news, it is possible. But don't just take it from me. Here's a few of our satisfied customers and what they had to say. Not only did they take the time to get to know me and my wants, they found me someone to finance me with my bad credit and got me the car of my dreams. Dr. Credit, come see him, he's great. He can help you, I know he can, he helped me. Schedule your appointment with Dr. Credit at Russell Barnett Kia so you can drive away happy. All right, the cat's out of the bag at Carroll Street Liquor in Tullahoma. Now you know where to go if you're planning a get together and want the ideal wine or spirit. 
Party planning can be stressful, but at Carroll Street Liquor you'll find everything you need. Mixers, gift sets, and all of your favorite spirit brands. So if you're feeling the pressure to pull off the ideal party, come to Carroll Street Liquor and select among the seemingly endless supply of wines, spirits, gift sets, and more. Your perfect party, it's in the bag with Carroll Street Liquors. Pop music in the late 70s gave us some unforgettable memories, and you can relive them all on Saturday, May 20th at Fraser McEwen Park in Tullahoma. Come see live from Ventura Boulevard, perform a free concert at 6 p.m. Also appearing special guest, the Rock Creek Bluegrass Band. Brought to you by Tullahoma Parks and Rec, Cherokee Distributing Company, and Old Shed Brewing Company. Be there Saturday, May 20th for live from Ventura Boulevard with some sweet 70s sounds. It's your trademark. That's something special everyone knows and remembers. It's your thing. It's made holidays special for decades and summers unforgettable for the entire neighborhood. It's made everyone laugh every single time. Don't let illness or injury keep you from doing your thing. The rehab team at Life Care Center of Tullahoma is ready to help you live well. Welcome back. You may not realize it, but you could be subject to a healthy fine for violating the City of Tullahoma's noise ordinance. Police Chief Paul Blackwell tells us more. Uh, throughout the year, there's certain periods where I have certain topics I like to cover. And springtime, I usually like to talk about the noise ordinance. And, and I kind of preface that with it's that time of the year where people are opening their windows, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the lawnmowers are getting tuned up. and we start getting more noise complaints. Mm -hmm. People start staying outside later and, you know, and, and <clears throat> doing the things they do as the weather's starting to warm up. So uh, ultimately we get called, hey, my neighbor's doing this, my neighbor's doing that. They've got their lawnmower running at uh, 8 o'clock in the morning and I work the midnight shift. I can't get any sleep. So we have to get involved in some of these things. Um, that, that, that's got to be a complicated one, I think. It, it is. What do you do about it? Well, that? you know, you, 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 you have to become a good diplomat and, and go out and speak to somebody, find out what the issue is, and, and you know, see if you can help resolve it. You can't always, uh -huh. can't always do it, you know, but uh, especially that incident, like we're saying, someone that works the midnight shift, they get home at 7 o'clock in the morning, and the neighbor at as soon as the grass is dry, cranks up the lawnmower and starts mowing. Mm -hmm. I, you know, that, that's, that's one of those things you pretty much just have to say, it, we can't stop it, you know. Then of course we get the, uh, the late calls of, hey, my neighbor's radio's playing, it's 11 o'clock at night, yeah, so we have to go out and try to intervene in that. What I hear a lot of times from people, and, and They'll say, well, I've always been told or I've always heard or an officer has told me that from, I'm just going to use a number, 10 o'clock at night till 7 o'clock in the morning, there's no noise at all. And, and, you know, me being the chief, I have to say, well, show me where that says that. Because there's nothing in our ordinance that says there's a time period of a quiet period. So at 10 o'clock in the morning, a noise could be a violation. So, so there's no, no exceptions, there's no limitations. The only exception is like for emergency vehicles, our sirens and everything, we can, you know, when we have to use them, we have to use them. Uh, certain type of machinery, you know, that is gonna happen all the time anyway. Um, so we have to kind of educate the public and we have to educate our officers because, you know, there are some officers that may have been told by another officer years ago about some time limit. Uh -huh. But and then I have to come in and, and let them know there is no time limit. There is no 10 o'clock to 7 o'clock restriction. But we try to intervene. We try to uh, remedy it. And if we can't, then all we can do is suggest to the people you may have to go to court over this and get a judge to make a decision because we're talking two, two different, maybe just two different schedules. Now, if you have someone that's intentionally being disruptive, that's a little bit easier for the officer to enforce then and there. Um, you know, if an officer goes out there and he's standing on the corner or the edge of the street and he can plainly hear this noise, 
that that's a violation. If you can hear it at the edge of the well, it's fifty feet. If 50 you can feet. if you can hear and discern what the music is from fifty feet, it, it's considered a, you know, a I, violation. I, I'm glad you told me that. And, and that same know. thing applies to your car, or your vehicle. If you can hear the noise from fifty feet and you can make out the words and things of that nature or the distinct beat. That's a violation. And, and, and you know, are, are you, you're saying that it's a violation to have your car radio or yes, sound system right, turned the, up the, too loud. Right. Unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So in like. the summertime when you hear that song that takes you back to your teenage years, <laughs> yeah. you know, the sun's, you crank it up, it, it could be a, a noise violation. And, and I think you just mentioned you don't write a lot of tickets for noise. Or we noise don't. Generally, it's, you know, we like to think of that as an education that, okay, look, let's tell them to turn it down. Yeah. Uh, but. You know, if if the officer catches the same car over and over again, then then it's going to have to be time for a citation. Get your reference. What is the fine for that? One hundred and sixty-five dollars. Don't forget to tune into this week's Living Show tonight at six thirty p.m. Thursday morning at nine a.m. and Thursday, Friday, and Saturday evening at six thirty p.m. This week's guests include Becky Huddleston from Elk River Public Utility District, who will come by to tell us about the upcoming Relay for Life event, and we'll speak with a couple of Tullahoma's firefighters who will invite you to come out and walk to the beach with them. All that and more on this week's Living. And stay with us, we'll have your weather forecast right after these messages. The Russell Barnett Automotive family has launched its new Owner Advantage program. It starts as simple as, your first year's maintenance is included with the purchase. We have one year, three year, five year plans available. Car detailing, car rental, collision repair. Stop by one of our five locations and let one of our certified sales staff tell you all about it. The Russell Barnett Automotive Family Advantage program. And remember, my question is, why buy anywhere else? We're losing it, doctor. Not on my shift. Quickly, brush. Roller. What a transformation. It's going to be okay. Okay, nothing. At Paintworks of Tullahoma, we specialize in domestic emergencies with Martin Senior Paints. You can be the paint doctor, too, when you treat your home with Martin Senior interior and exterior finishes. Doctor, we've got another one. Got you covered. Paintworks of Tullahoma. Come see the paint doctor, Stat. Celebrate America's independence at Tullahoma Scenic Fraser McEwen Park, Monday, July 3rd. Gates open at 3 p.m. and world-class fireworks start at 9. This free event has music and fun for everyone. Tribute bands featuring the music of Chicago, Steely Dan, Tom Petty, and more. Plus, a kid's zone, exotic animal petting zoo, food, fun, and games. Get the details at TullahomaTN.gov forward slash fireworks. Everyone is invited to enjoy the Tullahoma Kiwanis Independence Day Regional Celebration. July 3rd, Fraser McEwen Park, Independence Day Celebration, and fireworks. Welcome back. We'll take a look at your weather forecast at this time, starting with your weather history on this day. Our record high was in 1942 at 89 degrees. The record low was in 1963 at 32 degrees. The average high on this day is 75 and the average low is 51. Clear weather expected tonight with a low of around 41. Partly cloudy weather in the forecast for Wednesday with a high of 78 and a low of 61. And storms moving back into the forecast for Thursday with a high of 62 and a low of 45. And that's our news leader report for this evening. We invite you to join us each Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday at 6, 8, and 10 for News Leader on 6. You have a good evening. Have a great evening.